Hello guys, what is going on? Welcome again here at Young and Investing. So in this video, only one thing to talk about, that is the market. I actually wanted to do a bull or bear video today. So because I have a very strong opinion on what will happen next month, uh, where we are going um, in terms of price of Bitcoin price. But actually something came in between and that is um, a new FUD, a new FUD surrounding tether but more about that in just a minute let's have a look at the markets we see bitcoin is down with 3.5 percent in just a few minutes it lost eight percent um and it bounced up from the 5000 level so that's a good thing but yeah it doesn't look very good still right now we see most of the altcoins are in red numbers we see only binance in green in the top 10 um, Binance performing very well in times of uncertainty, actually in bear, bear market times in general, uh, also made a new all time high in dollar value. That is pretty insane. And yeah, the rest is actually pretty much red numbers, except for some stable coins and here and there, uh, one with green numbers. I don't know why Bitcoin SV is going up. It's getting delisted everywhere, but yeah, anyway. So that is how the market looks like right now, but let's have a look at the reason for this. So this is the reason. Bitfinex allegedly covers 850 million losses with Tether funds regarding the New York Attorney General's office. And actually it is about 850 million that Bitfinex uh, has lost, but actually they park the funds at an external company called Crypto Capital. And um, yeah, allegedly these funds are totally lost. These are funds from customers and institutions. And Bitfinex wanted to cover this up, this loss. They didn't report about it uh, towards their customers and their institutional investors. And they wanted to cover this up with taking uh, Tether funds. So that is very, very bad, both for Bitfinex and Tether, who actually share a same CEO. So Tether is from Bitfinex and we know that Tether is already for years, uh, very controversial. Um, a lot of people believe that it is not legit and it is not covered by uh, the amount of Tether that they created. So they promise to have a one one in dollar. So the, the amount of Tether they create, which is right now 2.8 billion, um, they say that they have this amount of money in a bank account. But there is so much con controversy about Tether uh, because, yeah, a lot of people don't believe that. They ha don't have anything to prove this. Uh, the only thing that proves this is a statement of their bank so far a few months ago. So, yeah, it, it, it never looked very good for Tether anyway. But so we see Bitfinex and Tether. Um, it is not really going very well for them. And this is what the uh, New York Attorney's General's office said. So our investigation has determined that the operations of the Bitfinex trading platform, who also control the Tether virtual currency, have engaged in a cover-up to hide the apparent loss of $850 million of co-mingled client and corporate funds. New York State has led the way in requiring vir virtual currency businesses to operate according to the law. And we will continue to stand up for investors and seek justice on their behalf when misled or cheated by any of these companies. And they also say like, uh, according to the filings that Bitfinex never revealed the loss to the investors, like I mentioned, uh, with ex executives of the exchange and Tether engaged in a series of conflicts, conflicting corporate transactions where Bitfinex got access to up to 900 million of Tether's cash reserves. So that is what they're talking about. These Tether cash reserves that are used to cover up this 850 million loss of Bitfinex uh, of the money that they parked at this external company called Crypto Capital. But this is one side of the story, of course, and this came out. Once this came out, the market immediately started crashing. But now the other side of the story also came out and it says Tether hits back at claim. Its reserves were used to cover 850 million loss at Bitfinex. And they, this is what they, um, they said actually on their Twitter account even. The New York Attorney General's court filings were written in bad faith and are riddled with false assertions, including as to a purported 850 million loss at crypto capital. On the contrary, we have been informed that these 
crypto capital amounts are not lost, but have been in fact seized and safeguarded. We are and have been actively working to exercise our rights and remedies and get those funds released. So basically what they claim, what Tether and Bitfinex claim, claiming is that these $850 million that are, is parked at crypto capital, that these are actually being held hostage um, so that they cannot access these and that for some reason they are seized and safeguarded there, uh, maybe seized by the US government. I have no idea. There's nothing in, um, uh, in, in what they, with a, the statement, there is nothing that talks about that. And they also said that both Bitfinex and Tether are financially strong, full stop, and both Bitfinex and Tether are committed to fighting this gross overreach by the New York Attorney General's office against companies that are good, corporate citizens and strong supporters of law enforcement. So I think this will, uh, won't be the last thing that is said about this. I think this will be a huge thing in the coming weeks, months, even. Uh, what the outcome of this is, I think it's very important. But for now, it's of course creating thought, uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the market. And that's why Bitcoin is currently crashing. Even though this came out and this was a, a trigger for the price to go down, I think uh, it would have happened anyway. That is what I wanted to say in my bull or bear video. Uh, I told you a few weeks, a few days ago that I wanted to make this video, but yeah, now it's a little bit too late. Um, but look at this. This is a rising wedge. It was forming. And I think, I actually thought and think still that um, it is never going to reach uh, 5,800 or 6,000 from the first time um, successfully or break through it. So I already thought at this point here that it would go maximum to 6,000 to this upper a part of this zone here, resistance zone. So I thought like it would stop right here or even here. I don't know, but um, it was to be expected. I think that the price would go down. Are we going down for a few more days, weeks, months even? Maybe yes. Um, I think that this may be a turnaround for a while. Of course, we are in the accumulation zone. But for me personally, if we look at the bigger picture, this is the daily time frame uh, here. If you look at the bigger picture, we see that, um, or I think at least, that accumulation will take place under 6K. So here, this zone right here from 3,150 and 6,000, this will be the accumulation zone for the rest of the year. And maybe by the end of the year, by the, maybe the third try to get through this resistance zone right here, maybe then it will work. And then we can speak about uh, a bull market because I think this is accumulation and everything uh, north of 6,100, let's say, if we are hanging around right here, I can, I think that will be the bull market. Um, so yeah, I think this was to be expected, but the news of Tether was just a trigger for it to happen. And it already broke out out of this rising wedge right here. Currently, it is sitting uh, just here um, on this uh, 20 uh, exponential moving average right here. I don't think it will hold to be very honest with you guys. We might retest here the uh, support of this resistance by then, uh, resistance of this channel, but I think we will go down further and find support here on the 50 exponential moving average or the 200 exponential moving average. We were having a golden cross here, but apparently again, the golden cross won't happen and the last time this golden cross was there in a bear market so 2015 we also got rejected and we went downwards and uh went down close to the low again so it might happen that we're also going to go close to the low again maybe here uh 4100 if this holds this will be a very good news but i think we will go to the 4100 level again but it is very strong. So I don't know if we're going to break it. I think if we are going to break it, then it's going 3,800 or otherwise uh, around here, 3,400 area uh, here. Uh, so yeah, maybe we are holding 4,100 in the next few months, but this is what I think will happen anyway, regardless of what happens with the Bitfinex and Tether saga. Uh, I think we will go to the 4,100, maybe even lower in the next few weeks throughout maybe May, maybe June, even before we hit um, a, a higher low, because I think there will be a higher low, 
but yeah it will take some time because if we will have an upwards trend line from here maybe the higher low will be somewhere over here but i don't think we will go lower than what we are what where we have been here back in december to the 3100 level so yeah that is how it looks like right now the story will be continued for sure i'm sure about that uh what i'm personally going to do i don't know maybe i am going to sell a little bit of my holdings um put it into a stable coin maybe not tether because it's very um yeah uncertain what happens with tether but i i have a very strong opinion right now i have the feeling that we are going at least to 4100 so it would be stupid to hold everything so maybe i can boost my portfolio by 30 percent by uh, buying again at 4100 dollars because i think from this point, it is only 20, a little bit more than 20% down, but the altcoins will also go down, I think harder than 20% from this point. So um, then it would maybe not be a bad decision to just sell everything for a while, uh, put it in a stable coin and uh, buy again at 4,100 and maybe yeah, I'm boosting my portfolio a little bit. So that would be pretty cool. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I am maybe going to wait for a retest and having a clear direction before i'm doing this but um yeah that's what i think will happen guys so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you think about all of this tether stuff it's again fought again further surrounding tether is it legit yes or no leave it in a comment down below if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe to stay updated with all the latest cryptocurrency news and more and thank you so much for watching guys have a great weekend Cheers.